And if you keep you keep an eye on our speed, the speed is dropping. We're, we're hitting the thicker part of the atmosphere now. The speed's going to start dropping precipitously. We're going to start getting to, to transonic pretty soon. And then after that, we'll get into subsonic, where we're, we're moving less than the speed of sound. But wow, what a light show so far. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again, this camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. That Looks like we've got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> This is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an <laughs> obvious hot spot there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat reentry as possible. Ideally, we'd love to make it all the way down and perform <laughs> that, uh, that landing burn and flip maneuver, but we may not get that far today. We will see. Again, this is a test, and we are gathering as much data as possible, visual data as well, which we can see here. We are getting a lot of debris covering the camera on your screen, but we can still see some of those sparks and flames from that high heat as ship is making its way back down to Earth ship now at 50 kilometers and closing. The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens just cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe to say ship's getting a little beat up, but that's to be expected on a test flight. We are still learning how to improve the ship for total survival and recovery of the high heat reentry. I'm honestly impressed that we're still getting this live view despite how much debris is coming off of this flap right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we've got it is good news. And I may, I may have jinxed it. I apologize. <laughs> oh, Look at no. that. It's back. We are still going. And the team's here. SpaceX are excited, as you can tell by the cheering behind us. There's still a sizable crowd here at Mission Control Center, Hawthorne. A splashdown is expected in just about four minutes from now. And we're still moving. We still have live views. Starlink is Big doing an incredible job. Big maximum entry dynamic pressure. External temperatures are dropping. Okay, good news, those external pressures are dropping. The question is, how much is the ship is left? <laughs> we can't really tell. We can still see uh, some of that particulate coming off. Um, and unfortunately, we do have a cracked camera lens, but for any photographers out there and uh, videographers, we know that's, that's part of the gig sometimes. Yeah, and you can see that the speed is rapidly slowing down. That's actually really great news for us. We want the vehicle to be slowing down before it splashes down into the ocean. That will help set us up for that flip maneuver, engines first down into the water. Exactly. So we have seen this flip maneuver demonstrated on previous high altitude flight tests like uh, serial number eight. Oh, more views, uh, or excuse, I should say more light coming through the view that we have of, through that uh, cracked and, and dirty lens there. Um, but yeah, so we're hoping that this flip maneuver, that we can, we can pull it off um, as soon as we get those views back. If we can get them, uh, if the ship is still around, we will bring Vehicle it back to Vehicle has passed you. maximum dynamic pressure. That is great news. Maximum dynamic pressure being the moment in which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of uh, aerodynamic pressure. 
Speed still dropping. We're now at 37 kilometers above the ocean. Just like flight three, we are targeting a spa uh, splashdown in the water in the Indian Ocean. We don't have a live view right now, but because we're still getting data and telemetry, that does tell us that ship is still doing okay, at least. And there we got that live view back. <laughs> the crowd very excited to see that view, despite not being able to see very much. The fact that it's there <laughs> tells us the ship is still alive. Yes, and for collecting now. data, continuing to collect data as we get closer and closer to Earth. Yes, now 30 kilometers, now 29 above the Start Indian Ocean. 30 kilometers altitude, Mark 2. Sounds like the vehicle's traveling, uh, as we just heard, um, Mach 2, which is, uh, oh, looks like we might. Uh, I, I thought maybe it might clear up. It is a little bit. Um, now at T plus one hour, three minutes and 13 seconds into Starship Flight 4, hoping that the ship can hang on. It's probably <laughs> potentially hanging on by a couple of bolts and threads, uh, but it's still going, and that is excellent news. That deceleration is looking incredible. We're about to go under 1,000 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Starship and is at 20 kilometers altitude. Now keep in mind that even though we can't see anything, uh, the, the, pay, the, data, the data itself is what we really uh, are. Starship are is subsonic. Subsonic, they're telling us it's traveling below the speed of sound. That movement means the flaps are actuating. I think we can see something. This is a nail biter, <laughs> but we are uh, unfortunately we can't see through the through the the, the lens. But we're still getting the feed. Uh, Starship is now uh, 11 kilometers over the ocean. All this data is incredibly important. Even if uh, you know it breaks up right now. Okay, we can see that flap actuating through the glass. Starship is passing through 10 kilometers altitude. Okay, the next milestone will be initiation of the flip maneuver and landing burn. Keep an eye on the bottom right corner of your screen for those three center engines to relight. They will gimbal or uh, angle so that the ship flips itself back up vertical and hopefully lands in a vertical position. And the crowd is very excited to get this view of that flap still maneuvering. Starship is passing through five kilometers altitude. This is incredible. We're getting very close to splashdown. These fireflies are such a good <laughs> sign of life right now. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. Starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal velocity. Start up the Starship. All right, good news there. Nominal to look at the landing board start up. Starship is in landing board. Landing board shipping. The, the landing bird shutdown was commanded. 